Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Now, as you may know, the Outdoor Gear Review is 100% agenda free. No store, we're not trying to sell you anything, and we do not care if you ever purchase a product that you see on the channel. Around October, I was approached by Outdoor Vitals to review this jacket, and I agreed. I've checked out many of their products, and I've been impressed so far. I received this jacket, and immediately on YouTube, videos popped up, but they were more like info commercials. This is not that. This is a full trail review of this jacket, and unfortunately, I have some serious issues with this product. For this review, the one and only Susie has been helping me test it out, and we are here to present our feedback to you all. The Kickstarter started at the end of October, went through November, it's actually ended now. So this product is on its path to being released. There's some changes that need to be made. What do you think? I agree, and we hope that the company is able to make those changes. If you perhaps participated in their Kickstarter, you may be getting one of these jackets in early 2019. Um, you'll have to let us know what you think. We are here to share our perspective and our experiences. And like Luke said, I did spend some time testing this jacket out as well. Let's move to some stats real quick. The retail price of this jacket is going to be $150. The medium size, which you see here, comes in at 11.6 ounces. It is available in small, all the way up to extra, extra, extra large. When the jacket officially launches, it will be available in a charcoal color and a blue color. The outer material is 20D nylon ripstop. The liner fabric is 10D nylon ripstop. And the insulation is a Loftec siliconized hollow fiber synthetic down. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of issues with this jacket that we've got to talk about. You know, I think the most important one, one of the biggest ones, is that the insulation is actually coming out of this jacket all over the place. I will try to get the camera focused on this, but this synthetic fill is just stringing out of this jacket. It is coming out of the front, out of the arms, all over the place. And it's pretty dramatic, really. Yeah, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but if you see any kind of glittery strings i can see it really well on the back here i don't okay. know when the sun hits it it kind of gives like a glittery effect and what that is is it is the synthetic down material coming out of the jacket and we did reach out to outdoor vitals to get some clarification about what was going on with this jacket right and basically they said that they've had one other issue one other complaint and they said that they have addressed this for future iterations of this jacket so for those who have been involved with the Kickstarter, I don't know if you guys are going to have problems or not. It's possible that you might, but hopefully by the time they release this jacket officially, this will be addressed because, I mean, the insulation is coming out all over this jacket. It will not last long. The insulation is supposed to be a down-like material, but what I'm seeing here is very stringy. Yeah. I mean, you could just sit here and yeah. just pull, 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 pull. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of seams here and that material is just coming out just all over just all over. Uh, the next thing that we have to talk about is temperature range. And that really deals with like the thickness of this jacket. And when we first received it, I was pretty shocked at how thin this jacket is. There's not much loft to it. The material seems to be very thin on the arms, on the chest, on the shoulders, thicker on the back, and with the hood. Typically men run hotter than women. So at 45 degrees with a long sleeve shirt on, she was not comfortable. No, not comfortable at all. 45 degrees, not moving right now. I have my <laughs> fleece layer on and I'm comfortable. I'm actually warm this way. Now you're comfortable. Yeah, but without this, I'm cold. In my opinion, this jacket is for 50 degrees and up. If you're going to go below 50 degrees, you need to have a good mid layer. Outdoor Vitals claims that this jacket is very similar to a product from the North Face. It was a down jacket that they posted on their Kickstarter program. And I just don't see that. From our testing, there's a huge difference between this jacket and a down jacket. Outdoor Vitals claims that this jacket mirrors an expensive down jacket in terms of wind resistance. Is that true? Not for me, not in my experience. To me, this jacket has really no wind resistance it's at all. It's very, very little. Very little wind resistance. I was very cold in it, being very active, moving around a lot, still cold, not at my comfort range. I think one word to describe this jacket is underfilled. That's just what kept coming into my mind. Mm -hmm. That's what I kept asking Luke about. We're on a roll here talking about the cons. So let's continue with those. There are some pros to talk about with this jacket. We will get to those, but let's continue on with the con train. Now this jacket features thumb holes. So let me stick my thumb in. 
but look at how small that thumb hole is. The knuckle of my thumb is back here and I cannot get that to fit. It's highly uncomfortable. It's the same on the other side. Susan noticed this as well. That is, it's not comfortable. I've never seen thumb holes this small. I, I don't like that at all. Those are worthless, pretty much. Right. Talking about the fit, Outdoor Vitals claims this is an athletic fit. I would disagree. This is a very boxy, very loose fit. In my opinion, it doesn't look very flattering on a man or a woman. And it's not with just this jacket that we have, our review model. But we noticed like on the Outdoor Vitals uh, Kickstarter page, they actually show pictures of models wearing the jacket and so on. I believe there's two women and a guy. And I mean, it's just loose, it's hanging on, it's oversized, it doesn't look quite right. right. This is the medium size. Typically I'm a medium to large individual. It's way large down here and kind of tight in the arms. Next we have to talk about pit zips. This jacket has pit zips. While that's an awesome feature, there is an issue. If you are wearing a t-shirt on underneath this jacket, you will feel that zipper against your skin. Make sure to have at least a long sleeve shirt on with this jacket. Otherwise, you're going to feel that metal. You're going to feel that zipper against your skin. Now with this jacket, you have two front pockets. Now, unfortunately, since the fill is so thin, it doesn't do a good job of keeping your hands warm. So if you're going to be out on a cold, windy day, you will need some gloves because the wind just goes right through this. Now with those pockets, they're a very good size. That's a good thing. But this material here is, it sounds like plastic. So every time you move, there's this plastic bag sound that goes with it. Let's talk about what we do love about this jacket. So okay. Luke mentioned it has pit zips. That's an interesting feature in a jacket. They are nice, big, and wide. They work really, they really do. well. They work very well. Yep, yesterday we went out to film some footage for this video. As mentioned, we've been testing this out for a long time. You know, when I was going up this mountain, I was getting nice and warm and I was able to open these up and they do work. I had some nice cool air coming in. It does a good job of balancing body heat. Another great feature of this jacket is, I'll just turn you around, is this hood. So we'll go ahead and put it on. It has the cinch in the exact right place so you can cinch it up. You also have front adjustments as well. Dual adjustments for the hood. The hood is fantastic. Right, they got that one right. Yep, yep, the hood's excellent. There are many jackets out on the market that could take cues from Outdoor Vitals and this hood. It's good. All right, moving on with the pros for 50 degrees, this jacket is very lightweight. When it comes to the stitching for this jacket, it is very, very good. You know, unfortunately, the stuffing is coming out of those stitches, but the stitching really is very good on this jacket. There's no issues with loose threads or anything like that. The zipper is good. It does have a wind block you know, so you don't have to worry about the wind coming through the zipper specifically. All right, moving on with the pros, this jacket is water repellent. It is not waterproof, huge difference, but if you're in the outdoors and you have to say, maybe walk from your tent to the bathroom or something like that, it can handle getting a little bit wet. Of course, you don't wanna get any jacket, any insulation layer soaking wet. But yeah, there is a water repellent treatment done to the jacket and it works well. All right guys, so let's pretty much wrap this up. We've touched upon the pros, we've touched upon the cons. Let's talk about the insulation just a little bit more. Outdoor Vitals pretty much claims that this is the world's most advanced insulation out there. It could be true, but there's so little of it in this jacket. I, I just can't agree with those claims. This jacket just seems so underfilled. It's not very, very warm. Mm -hmm. I think at the very best, this is a 50 degree jacket. You know, right. anything below that, you're going to need more clothing. $150 for a 50 degree jacket, that's a lot of money. Well, I think we have to keep in mind, it's a synthetic down. And if you're gonna pay 150, you can get an actual down jacket right around the price point. You can. And we don't have proof of those claims. We weren't able to get that in any of our testing. Mm -hmm. When it comes to synthetic and down, these are two different materials, two different types of insulation, each have pros and cons. You know, with synthetic, yeah, it does a better job when it comes to moisture. But the truth is, you're not going to want to get your synthetic down jacket soaking wet. You don't want to get your down jacket soaking wet. That's a topic for a different video. So if you're going to pay down prices, you might as well get the warmth benefits of down. Right. Yeah, that's the bottom line. That's the point that we're trying to get across. As mentioned before, we've tested out numerous products from Outdoor Vitals. Good company, very impressive. 
this effort here falls flat in just many, many ways. This is not a jacket that I would go out and purchase myself, especially when there's just better jackets out there for the exact same price or even less. Right. So guys, there you have it. That is our review. Of course, with the channel here, we are agenda free. We're not trying to sell products. We're not trying to push stuff upon people. We're not going to do info commercials. We test out the products to provide you guys with the best feedback possible and also to help these companies. If we can help those companies make a better product by giving them some criticisms, in our opinion, it's a win-win. A win for them, it's a win for the consumer if the consumer decides to purchase their product. Some companies don't like this. Hopefully, Outdoor Vitals will take this well. A good example of companies not taking this well is Thrunite, flashlight company. We recently were asked to do a review. We did a review, didn't care for the product. And basically they told us that they will only send out reviews to people who are going to give them positive reviews. Yeah, so I noticed that our contact person for Three Night was someone different than in the past. Mm -hmm. And I guess maybe their policies have changed and they will no longer send out products if it's not going to be a positive review. And that's a shame. And I, I really appreciate Outdoor Vital sending in this jacket. I hope that they will send us another oh, one. Yeah. We so, want you guys to succeed, so yeah, good luck. Let us help you get that final one to us. Let us do some more testing and let's see what the next couple of months bring with the final Outdoor Vitals jacket. Yeah. You know, you know if this jacket was 75 bucks, it'd be worth 75 bucks. Yeah. If it was yeah. a 50 degree jacket that was $75. Right. I, I think that'd be like a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. But for 150 bucks, $150, that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Yeah. Not budget friendly, no. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Guys, thank you all so very much. Uh, make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this review, share your thoughts about this jacket, you know, share your thoughts about our policies. Always honest, we're not going to change that. It is how it is. Hopefully the criticisms are beneficial. Strength and honor. See you guys around. Bye. Bye.